Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got uh, Gunfire Reborn as the Prince, of course. We got a lot of Gunfire Reborn to record today, but I'm not sure I actually will. <laughs> I have a problem, alright? I have a problem wherein I want to not record. Um, it's kind of why there's no Yama Jack tries out lately. Uh, not really, though. The reason there's no Yama Jack tries out lately is because I just. Specifically, I haven't wanted to record the Yama Jack tries. It's a lot of work, and I just I haven't had it. Uh, I haven't had the motivation to, to get that part done yet. Thinking about changing some stuff up with it anyways I talked about in a recent uh, KF2 episode. But, uh... Yeah. Gotta worry about all these things. I was playing Monster Hunter last night. And uh, I installed a bunch of... Well, not a bunch. I installed some mods for Monster Hunter. If you guys don't know, I, I stream Monster Hunter Mondays and Fridays. Um, 2, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific time. And I've got like 65 hours in it at the moment. It's, it's like it's going pretty good, right? But I got a couple of mods for it because they're just a. I know, I know, I know I've heard of uh, a mod that showed you like the monster health and like the breakpoints and all this kind of stuff. So you could know as you're going through the the fight how, how far away you are from being able to mount it or, or break off the tail or uh, you know capture worthy or whatever you know that kind of information is available so I wanted to see if I could download that just to make uh, not for progression sake uh, for, for fighting something new I, I really don't want to use it um, but for, for, for farming stuff um, I figured it was Fun to play around with, anyway, if if nothing else. So I wanted to check it out and see how it was, and it was it was actually kind of kind of cool. But the uh, Nexus mods has uh, like a whole bunch of things. Oh, honestly, this, this this mod that that I'm using here to, to show me the monster health and all that isn't even like a mod so much. It's 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 a separate program that you run that like injects itself into the game. It's like you know if you ever like hacked. In, in some other game or whatever, you have to inject the, the DLLs or whatever into the executable or whatever, you know, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. It, it's doing like a similar kind of thing. So it's more of like a... I mean, it's, it's manipulating the, the game's memory more than um, modding it, you know? But but that's that's what mods basically have to do um, to, to be at all successful, right? Um, so anyway, this this one was was really really nice to have. It got a couple of other things as well. Like there's some some helpers for uh, like learning different uh, weapon types and stuff. So you can you can learn how to how to use the different weapons. Um, and it's got like some some HUD information when you're in town about uh, the different like micro management or like macro management even kind of stuff like how how are your fertile how's your fertilizer going and how's your steam and you know all this kind of stuff is all available uh, at a glance which is very very nice would I rather have an occult scroll or a weapon probably a weapon prism is it a good prism no it's garbage I don't like the foo the, the talisman my only problem with the talisman honestly the only reason I don't use it when we find it these days so I actually like the talisman as a weapon. The only reason I don't use it is because, wow, are you going to die before even getting to Lulu? The only reason I don't use it is, uh, is, is purely because it takes up so much of your screen. I don't like it. I don't want to walk all the way over there for that vault. Eh, I guess we should. I don't want to, though. It's so far away, dude. Um... So anyway, it's got some like really cool, useful information that you can you can see in the. Uh, gotta readjust my leg here, get it a little bit more comfortable. I can move my leg to most places. I just sit like an idiot, and and it necessitates not using my leg exclusively to put it where I want my leg to be. Okay. Sometimes I sit with like my foot on my ear. Okay. <laughs> like like I don't sit like a normal person. Okay. I get a webcam, you guys would be like, what the heck? Um, 
Now I'll probably try to look normal as I can if I get a webcam. Anyway, um... So as I was looking to get some mods and stuff, this is probably going to be dangerous. Yeah, because this hurts me, but it doesn't actually fire anything. I don't think. I don't think it'll actually hurt stuff. Anyway. Let's look at mods, okay? I got that mod, the one that uh, gives me all the, the cool information as we go. Uh, you can also get like some timer stuff and, and like DPS charts and helps you learn new weapons and like it, it's got some super useful stuff on it, right? Um, but you have to just die, okay? But uh, okay, and then another one I got for uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I can't resist the justice. Are you insane? Are you insane? On this part, because I just, I hate the stupid, uh... Horse head dudes, I hate them. And they're not a problem anymore because we have a justice. We have to, we have to upgrade the justice though. It's not very powerful. But it's, it's a thing, it exists. I want to just get in here because it'll probably be safer. Um, the other one I got was uh, for um, showing those little drops on the ground because as you play the game, um, you can get uh, like slinger ammo drops and then like parts of the monster will fall off and they'll just kind of chill out on the ground. Um, which is, you know fine like that's how it works but they're a little bit hard to see especially in iceborne where, where it's like a ton of ice everywhere so one of the mods that i got also like made bigger beams on them so they're a little bit easier to see and that's all that i installed right and uh, I'll, I'll pretty much only end up using the bigger beams for any kind of like actual use case kind of thing you know what i mean but um i still liked having the uh the other thing, so I was looking through the, the mod list on uh, on Nexus mods, and I was I was scrolling through it, just seeing like I don't know, maybe maybe I can find something else, you know, maybe maybe there's some other other kind of like nice quality of life stuff to have, right? I don't know. So I'm I'm scrolling through it and I see uh, there's a shocking number of. Um, of mods that just remove the freckles from the handler's face like I mean a, a shocking number it's it's it, like I scrolled through maybe like 300 mods or something like that and I got uh, I, I probably saw like 10 to 15 separate mods that um, were just like cleaner handler face what um, I think it's worth upgrading this. Like, like just, just getting rid of the freckles. I'm like, people hate freckles that much? Like, people are that passionate? And it's got, like, I'm scrolling through, like, the most downloaded stuff, right? So, like, don't forget, this is this is the stuff that people are actually downloading. Right? Like, they, they want to remove the freckles from the handler's face. You know, they're like, oh, heck yeah. Finally, I can look at this handler and it doesn't disgust me because these freckles are... I'm like, people hate freckles that much? Like, I had no idea there was this much hatred against freckles. Like, they're just freckles, dude. They're not a big deal. Um, so that surprised me, because I, I had no idea that uh, freckles mattered that much to people. That they... I, like, A, not I... Uh, a, make mods to, to remove the freckles from a character's face. Um, and then B, that they'd be like some of the most downloaded mods for Monster Hunter, like at all. I'm just like, this is eye-opening. I had no idea people were that against freckles. Like, what the heck, dude? I, th I thought, generally speaking, people uh, mostly thought they were just kind of cute, you know? But I don't have freckles, but like... I was just, I was just surprised, man. That was, that was, that was quite the surprise when I was, when I was scrolling through it. The other thing that I saw a lot of was, um, a lot of one-shot weapon mods. So you just get to 
like download the weapon basically and then you can go one shot whatever the heck you want because it has like a bajillion damage you know which is 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 also like unfun but okay I guess you know if, if, if that's the way you're having fun and you're just playing in you know your own solo world thing then don't let me stop you okay that's if that's the way you want to do it be my guest but uh, not for me um, so there were a lot of those there were a lot of like 100% um, completed saves you know people upload their save or whatever and you download it and install your the, the save into uh, your game and then you get to have your uh, your completed save have all of the weapons all the achievements all the decorations and everything you know and uh, that's also I'm like whatever people like you know perhaps there's people coming over from like PS4 or whatever they don't have to replay through it okay you know well, these are both good though but I like the I like the movement speed you know these are th this is okay right uh, and then there was a whole bunch of like cheat shops you know where uh, they're like every shop or every item in the shop um, for free and like you sell potions for 25,000 so you, you can buy whatever items you want and they have you know all the rare like uh, monster drops and stuff just kinda sitting in the store and I'm like I don't know like the point of the game is to go kill the monsters to get the stuff to, to make to make your your gear like what's why are you doing this <laughs> like that doesn't what's the point of the game when, when you just get everything like I, I don't know, um, like like just at, like at that like to me it's just at that point just download the the save that already has everything. Like why why are you gonna beat around the bush and and like get a get a mod that allows you to buy everything, but you have to still put in the work to like make it all. Like nobody needs nobody's sitting there like wow that's really impressive that you went to the store and bought all of those items. You know like. It's, it's it's equal levels of like impressiveness, just just more work. You know, works work smart, not hard. Um, which they would just say that neither of them are impressive, right? Like, I just, I don't get the point of it. Like, just just to me, it's just you know, if, if you're just gonna be cheating it all in anyway, just just cheat it all in, commit, dude. You know, never never half-ass a. Okay. I know my way around this place now. Don't think I don't. Because I do. Now uh, we have to wait for the double rock here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with this. <laughs> uh, wait for the double rock and then go, 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 go. Um. Yeah, I just, I'm like, whatever, dude. Uh, be honest with you, I think they're all kind of bad, but I've never really like gotten into this this one, so maybe we'll just take it and find a newfound appreciation for it, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so there there were those mods where you get to go and buy everything in this in the shop, right? Um. There was a, there were a few mods, like quite a few mods, or a couple of mods anyway that that showed you like information on the uh, on the monster, like the health and, and breakpoints and, and all this kind of stuff. Those ones are nice. I like those. Um, and then the rest of the mods were basically just better nude model, high res, jiggle physics. And I'm like, bruv, <laughs> why, why? There's there's like a billion of them, and uh, then there's also the the other one, which is you know the 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 new armor sets, which are like shorter skirt, high heels, tighter waist part, and new vest design. The new vest design is just more revealing. You know, it's it's not it's not so much a new vest design as it is less vest design. If you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. I'm I'm fine with upgrading these. What do we get? Heck yeah, dude! Oh, I wish I took the skateboarder now. Oh. Because that would have worked so well together, dude. We still have some semblance of, uh... 
being able to have that lucky shot chance kind of staying with us. It's it's possible. Not super likely though. Having that uh, that skateboarder would have been pretty sick. Tony Hawk, bruv. <laughs> yeah, it was just it was just a lot of, of those kinds of things. And then like uh, there were a few that replaced that uh, that replaced the models and the the outfits of the various NPCs with um, like bikinis and and you know swimsuits and underwear. I'm like just. Like why? Anyway, I guess, like to me, I guess I wouldn't even mind it that much if I was scrolling through and I also saw the same stuff for all the male characters. You know what I mean? But you don't. You know, you, you never see like uh, your new new model for the commander or whatever, right? Like it's always new model for the um, the Celiana like chick or whatever. You know? And I'm just put put my commander in a bikini and maybe we can talk. Uh, it was just there. There was so many mods. I was like, "Oh, cool! There might be like some cool stuff." I just I went through like 15 pages, and I'm just all I see is is like dumb cheats and uh, like nude models and stuff. And I'm I'm like, you know, there were there were a couple. Like there's one that replaced the uh, the animations for the boat to make it just kind of feel better. Not, not actually like change it mechanically, but just make it feel stronger. Like, like you're actually doing something. You know what I mean? Like, like the the animations of uh, the animations and the sound effects of, of various things can can have such an impact in uh, in how they feel. So uh, they they made uh, an animation that that did make it definitely feel pretty strong and, and definitely more potent, and it definitely looked pretty sweet. And uh, I was like, that's pretty cool. I might get that if I ever main bow I guess you know but um, the issue here is that like 15 pages and I end up seeing like three or four actually like neato mods you know like neat textures or models or whatever and the rest of it's just all garbage I'm like I just I don't want to keep scrolling through I've seen I've seen enough fake boobs in 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 the past like hour here, not even hour. It was like you know 15 minutes or something. But like I've seen enough fake boobs. I just I really I, I don't I don't need to see any more. You know, we've uh, we've seen all that we need to see. So I uh, I stopped looking through it. I'm like I don't know. There could be some cool stuff for sure. I just I need somebody else to curate it for me because I just I have no desire to. To read through the huge Nexus mods list and and see all of the uh, the naked girls and the, the almost naked girls and you know all of the bikinis and underwear and like you know I just, I just I'm like I want stuff that actually looks good <laughs> but I don't know it's all made you know. I'm sure, like the the reality here is okay, and and, and y'all might not not necessarily like it so much, but the reality here is is that I'm sure the the population of monster hunters made up not primarily but largely, you know, a large percentage of them, it, probably men, and uh, you know, they like they like boobs, men like boobs, is really what it boils down to. So they they make their characters in games have boobs. And to me, I'm just like, you know, I just kind of wanted um, something that might make my life a little bit easier. Something that might, so not necessarily easier, but just less annoying, you know? Like, that's the kind of stuff that I want from uh, from a mod, personally. is isn't necessarily stuff that makes my life easier, but just stuff that takes out a lot of the the hassle, you know? Like, when I come back to, to Monster Hunter after playing it, after not playing it for a few days or whatever, I have to think, like, hey... How many how many fertilizers did I have in my like how many more quests worth of fertilizer did I have in my my harvest box you know like did I have one did I have seven I don't know 
So let's go and check it. And then once I'm doing it, then I'm like, you know, mostly able to kind of like keep up with it and be like, okay, so every five quests, I just have to go back and, and check the soil. And then you also have to pay attention to the steam and you have to pay attention to this and that. And uh, to me, it's just like, you know, having, having the little heads up display that just shows me exactly what I got going on is, uh, is convenient. It doesn't change that I have to still go there to still add in the fertilizer. It just makes it so that I don't have to count myself, you know? It doesn't make my life easier so much. It just makes it harder for me to be dumb, I guess. And I like that. I respect that kind of, uh, that kind of stuff. But it's all just boobs, dude. It's all boobs and cheats, and I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't need that kind of stuff in my life. I don't need either of them. They both just interest me, like not at all. <laughs> uh, but you know, it's it's what people do. Like I said, it's probably largely men making the mods and then playing the mods, and 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 men largely like boobs. So that's that's kind of what ends up. Uh, be in there. Which is, is fine, I suppose. We're gonna upgrade it. I think it's better to upgrade it than to, like, this is probably our end game justice. I would upgrade the, the mag capacity. I know I would hate it, because I really like having this mag capacity, but I would upgrade it. I'd YOLO. Go for, go for some, like, damage or, or lucky shot chance or something, you know? Would be, would be pretty nice. Uh, so one thing to, to bear in mind here is that we do have the feline thing. Which means that this guy is going to hurt an awful lot. Yeah. That hurts a lot. So stand still. When he moves, we, 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 we go. Okay? Yeah, I'm not sure how well this is going to work, honestly. Yeah, um... Yeah, like... Here's the problem. No matter how quick I was, like, I was going, like, as quick as I could, okay? The moment I saw the, uh... That thing pop up, you know, I was, I was, I was hopping out of there, right? Let's just pop that up there and then destroy them. Pop that up there and then destroy them. Yeah, like, I was going as soon as I saw him, like, move or whatever, but he was, he was too quick, dude. So we actually want to hold off on, uh, on popping any more of these until we can pop some of those green destructible bits. Is really my, my goal here. Pop that up there and then destroy them. Should get our ammunitions back. And then kill him. There we go. Beautiful. Keep that lucky shot chance going, you know? Man, that's a lot of soul essence. Like, it's not going to help us because we're using a justice, but whatever. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> it looks okay, at least. Sure, we'll, 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 we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. That was that was my experience with Monster Hunter Mods last night anyway. It was uh interesting, I, I, I suppose we'll we'll call it interesting. We'll call it interesting, sure. Oh yes, I love this when I actually have like some decent speed. Hate this when I don't. Love it when I do. Yeah, you can just kind of like jump around that when you got this 40% speed, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So you want to jump over here. You can make that jump. Okay, so this jump. If you do it right, oh my god. This is not, this, this isn't a very hard jumping puzzle thing. I'm just being really bad at it right now for some reason. I don't know. Because you can just like jump right on up with that. I don't really know why I'm having so much trouble with it right now. Because you can just jump up that, and then you can just dash over to this. 
and then walk off the edge, like, just for no reason. And then I think I can just actually jump up that, yeah. Don't have to wait for the dash. Not very hard. Um, I was just being bad. It is a bit tricky when you don't have some speed, but when you have some speed, it's it's actually... Not bad. I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is good. Maybe, maybe it's good. I don't know. That's definitely not that good for us. We're definitely playing a bit of a, a longer ranged build at this point in time. Probably, anyway. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, I like this. This will probably get us a lot of coins. I'll, we'll probably end up getting more than 400 coins from destructible objects as we go here. There's three, you know. I imagine we'll end up profiting from this, but I'm not. Don't don't quote me on it. Uh, this this late on, I'm not I'm not 100 sure. There's another three. Like, you know, 100 of those and, and we're profit, right? And and there's definitely a lot of destructible objects throughout this uh, this area, so... I don't know, whatever. If we have the ability to do some kind of shock damage, this would be really, really nice. Uh, getting a justice that has this kind of a perk on it would be really, really cool. We should get crits with the justice, dude. I want to crit stuff. Destroyed. Not destroyed. Not destroyed. Not destroyed. Not destroyed. I'm the one getting destroyed. Okay, so we can we can corrupt him, decay him, get a little bit of extra damage out. We got a lot of uh, a long freeze on it, which is good. Like seeing that. Um, more charges is always nice. We do have the, um, money equals power thing. So we, we do want, we do want money. Money is damage, dude. Can't be without money. But we'll, we'll be able to get our money back. We got, uh, we get a coin from each destructible we destroy. We should be able to destroy like 300 destructibles. I imagine by the time the boss wave comes around to, to have outweighed that cost. I'm hoping anyway. I would, I would imagine it to be, it to be true. But I don't really know. Maybe not. I'm going to try though. Don't get me wrong. Going all over the place for these single healer coins. Is it worth it? Like probably not, right? Oh, we might die here. Okay, if we win, I'm not sure I feel how I feel about this win. We probably won't. But if we do, I'm not sure how I'll feel about it. Because we do have something that uh, I don't think is going to trivialize the boss fight. But we do have uh, like the one scroll that, that lets us take uh, no more than 15% of our maximum health per hit. Which actually, by the way... Is probably really really bad because we're getting so much extra health <laughs> so like 15% of our health is actually quite a lot although it's still like you know ultimately it's still maximum that number of hits to kill us you know what I mean or minimum that number of hits to kill us so I don't know I don't think it's to our now nah, when you know it is I think because like at a certain point the the fireballs just aren't even going to do 15% of your health anyway, unless they had that 100% extra damage. You know what I mean? So, like, let's say they did 15 damage. We have 100 health. They do, and let, let's say they do, let's say they do 20 damage, and we have 100 health. You know? So that gets multiplied by 100. They're doing 40 damage now, but that gets nerfed down to 15, and you're like, hey, saved five damage. You know what I mean? 
Now, you double your health, you have 200 health, and uh, now they're doing 30 damage, whereas if you just never took the perk, they'd only be doing uh, 20. Because you didn't get that 100%. You're still getting nerfed from that 100%, but you would have just been better off with the... would have been better off with the um, base hit, rather than getting it buffed at all. So I'm not sure, I think it might actually be hugely to our detriment to, to have it. I think it might be like a, a pretty major like anti-synergy that we've got going on here, where we're just buffing the boss right now, which is not good. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't describe it as being good, you know? I would describe it as, as being particularly bad, in fact. You are a uh, non-critable object. You are a non-armor-wearing object. You guys are just kind of annoying. So I think I think we have a, a pretty terrible synergy going on here. Is is the moral of the story, which is is bad because I th I thought it would help us with the boss fight, but then we took a whole bunch of extra HP, and I think it's probably just really really bad. <laughs> so kind of sucks, but you know whatever. Um, I guess like I'll I'll take some more armor. Sure. I think I think we're gonna have a lot of money on this run. I don't think money's really a huge issue for us. We already get so much extra money anyway. From our uh, our levels, all the level ups that we've had. Hey yo, hey, not cool, dude. Where are the enemies, dude? Somebody just chilling out right here. What are you doing, bub? But we're uh, we're we're approaching greatness right now. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll say I'll say it that way. I know how to fight this boss now too, so you know it, it could happen. I suppose. To be honest with you. I'd, I'd be mighty surprised, but it could happen. Fifty percent weapon damage against. Elites and bosses is pretty sick. Yeah, the second boss with this uh, feline thing is just... I really don't think it's that good. I don't think that's that good either. I wish it was, because I'd, I'd love to get a... a Justice with the with an inscription, so we can get some decay up as well, which would be cool. But I don't think it's gonna happen, unfortunately. I don't think it's gonna happen. At least that's not the justice that will make it happen. Definitely not. That justice is is. is not an improvement, I don't think. Lucky shot chance is just really, really good. Is what it boils down to mostly. We can't, we can't deny the lucky shot chance. Unfortunately, I wish I could. So, uh, having an inscription is, is is powerful in and of itself. You know, like the Gemini inscription, rather. Having that Gemini inscription is is valuable, just just on its own right, just because you get to. Uh, Possibly forge it to share corruption damage with uh, with the prism that we have, but I really don't think it's it's the right decision. I really don't. We did not get to a thousand gold, unfortunately, so we are missing a little bit. I mean, that's also probably worth it. Like, we're gonna get rid of what? What does that end up being? Like 10% damage, whatever, for 35%. Yeah, probably probably worth it. I think that's a fair trade. Okay, so phase one, phase two, not super concerned with. Phase three, phase four. A little concerned with. Phase three, I think I can probably make it through. Phase four... Is a whole nother beast, though, for sure. 
I just want money, okay? Because money gives me damage. And I want that, uh, that damage, you know? Let's go ahead and freeze him. And then destroy him. Utterly. Beautiful performance, beautiful performance. Fire it. Oh, I just, I jumped into them, dude. I jumped into them. Man. You don't jump on that fight. You don't, jumping is suicidal. Like, the thing is, is with the justice, you just, you can't really get close. <laughs> or you, you, you can't stay far back. You have to get close. But on that fight, getting close is kind of a suicide. Oh, well. We're making it to the boss with a lot more consistency now. Soon, we'll be able to beat the boss with consistency. And then they'll introduce the new boss, and then I'll be like, Oh my god, why do we have to fight? Like, and what's the next boss going to be, you think? What do, you, what do you think it is? We got the, the crypt, we have the desert, we have the boat. The next logical boss. Is... I'm thinking it's it's probably gonna be a it's gonna be some kind of flying monster, okay? It's gonna be a bird. It's gonna be a dragon, maybe. Um, something like that. That's what I'm guessing. I don't know. Maybe maybe like information about it is released. I don't know. I've just heard from a friend that they might be doing it. Is all. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.